Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ebony and I make videos on fashion and styling. So if you are into that kind of thing, you should definitely, definitely stick around. Now, today's video is going to be part two of my series on how to find your ideal style and a style study. So the first one that I did was on Serena Vanderwoodson from Gossip Girl, one of my style icons. And so it's only fitting that part two is for the other half of that duo, which is Blair Waldorf. And like I said in my first video I decided at some point in high school that whenever I put together any outfit it should be one part Serena one part Blair and that equals the perfect outfit and I still think that's pretty true to this day but today I wanted to really break down Blair Waldorf's style so if you're interested in learning how to achieve her style without exactly becoming a carbon copy of a character please continue watching and I'm definitely excited to get into this with you guys so to get started, we're going to start with step one of the process, which is to identify the key themes in the outfits and in the style of the person that you would like to try and emulate, but again, not copy. That's not what we're doing here. I'm not going to show you exactly how to achieve a specific look that Blair had. I want to show you how to dress in a style that is like her. So um, the first thing that I notice about Blair is definitely that she does, even though her style is classic, she doesn't shy away from color. So she um, loves pops of color in the winter and in the summer. She likes patterns, so mainly I see her in like floral, um, sometimes in like a tweed, actually, which is another thing that's really big with her. So there's tweed, and then as far as shapes, she likes pen she wears pencil skirts or she will wear something like a circle skirt with a lot of volume and the lengths vary. She can wear I've seen her in minis, I've seen her in maxis. Well, not maxis. I've seen her in minis and midis mostly. Um and a lot of times if she's wearing a midi, it will be like very figure hugging but straight like a pencil skirt. So that's why I say it's conservative but youthful because it's not dowdy and it's not boring, especially because she loves to play with color and pattern, but she keeps those shapes very, very classic. So I noticed that about her. Um, as far as shoes go, ballet flats especially when she's in school, um, T-straps, Mary Janes, if she's wearing high heels, a lot of times they may have an ankle strap or they may lace up the front, um, just really almost like vintage, again, classic, but young because they might be very, very high. <laughs> and if she's wearing a ballet flat, it's not boring or looking too old or granny because she will wear like red tights or something like that with it. So that's definitely the themes that I see. So I would say, um, Again, her style is very sophisticated but fun and young. Really into ruffles and of course her signature headband, bows, ties around the neck, um, little details around her sleeves, buttons. Um, she likes high necks I see a lot and low backs, especially in her formal wear. Um, and of course tights too, especially for her school style. So she will have colored tights, pattern tights, colored and pattern tights, regular tights. Tights galore. Like, I'm sure she had a specific closet just for her tights, knowing Blair Waldorf. <laughs> All right, so now we're going on to step two, which is con to consider. Now, the things that I always say that you should consider when you are trying to adapt someone's style to your own is, um, is anything about their style outdated to today, just to the point where it's just, you couldn't wear it unless you really love it, but is any part of that outdated? Um, is any part of it something that is out of your comfort zone that you might need to try? Um, and is any part of that really just not you because you don't want to change who you are you want to adapt their style to your current style so it, it comes with your comfort level as well so with Blair the things that you might want to consider is um, this is an example of something that maybe if it's out of your comfort zone but you should try is pops of color because she definitely mixes colors she's not afraid um, to mix different colors or add that pop to her dark outfit so if you're someone who is um, interested in color and might be afraid to mix color or pattern that's something that you should maybe try and use her as like a template to kind of get into doing that now as far as comfort level so say your style is neutral you don't wear color then don't wear color but just stick with the, the actual ideas of the outfits and the silhouettes that she goes with so another thing that I considered for myself personally um, because I love color so I'm not afraid of that I love mixing pattern so that was cool um, I actually didn't really want to do the headband thing 
One, I know that's a signature of her style, but also I think it's really important when you are trying to dress like someone, especially someone who's a character, and especially a character that has a piece that is so signature to their style, like Blair's headband, that you don't want to just throw a headband on a preppy outfit and say that it's Blair Waldorf, um, because there's so many other elements to her style, and also, you don't want people to look at you and say, oh, she's dressing up like Blair Waldorf because there's something about that that can lean towards being a little costumey. And if it's, you want people to look at you and think the same things that you thought when you saw Blair's outfits, like what did you think about them? You could have said, oh my gosh, you know, she just looks so classy, um, but still fun. Or she just looks so put together because she's so good with color. You don't want someone to look at you and say, oh, she's dressing like Blair Waldorf or oh, she's dressing like XYZ. You want them to feel the feelings that you felt that made you attract to the style in the beginning, if that makes sense. So sometimes you have to, you know, walk a fine line when you're wearing signature pieces of especially characters. Um, so also, I don't like the way headbands look with my hair. It's like annoying to try to make them work. So I didn't include any headbands, but if you like headbands, my tip would be not to put it with like a school outfit like Blair because <laughs> immediately someone's gonna be like, you look like Blair Waldorf, they're not gonna notice you. They're gonna notice the costume-esque-ness of your outfit. So if you're gonna go with a headband, I would maybe apply it to something that's less Blair, but less iconically Blair. So maybe like a summer dress and ballet flats and a headband rather than, you know, the white button up with the tie and a headband. Um, because it's a fine line to cross between, you know, looking classy and sophisticated and embodying Blair and also copying exactly Blair and then looking like a character. So that would be my tip on that. All right, um, the third thing is to use what you have. Everything that I'm including in this video is something that I already had in my closet. Um, what helped was actually step number one, which is identifying the themes, because once I did that, it was so easy for me to go to my closet and see that I already had things, rather than thinking, oh, I wanna dress like this person. I need to go buy a whole bunch of stuff because I totally don't dress like them now. If you identify the key things that you would need it's really easy to go to your closet and realize that you actually already have those pieces um and that's exactly what i did so nothing was bought in the making of this video <laughs> Step number four is to get dressed and have fun. Obviously, my favorite part. Um, so I'm gonna get right into these looks for you and walk you through exactly why I picked them and why I love them. So let's go. Okay, so this first look is definitely something I would peg for a Blair school outfit at Constance. So my top is thrifted. My skirt is thrifted, but it's from Forever 21. And again, we're pulling in that tweed, which is a part of her style. I have these tights from Forever 21. My ballet flats are from Chloe. And then I have this thrifted coat. It was such a find. It was like only $10. And then I have these gloves that I got at TJ Maxx. Now, this is pulling in a lot of aspects of her style from the tweed. Um, it's a mini, but it's a straight skirt. And then I have ruffles and ballet flats and tights, which if that's not Blair, I don't know what is. I can totally see her wearing this on the Met steps, probably being a little mean to somebody, but hey, we love to see it. <laughs> not in real life, but in the show. So this is an example of me adapting Blair's style to my own because we know she really never wears uh, pants, but I imagine that she would wear them like this if she did. So I have these red pants that are thrifted. My sweater is thrifted. My top is from Zara. It has the ruffles, which is another part of her style. My shoes are patent leather Mary Jane heels from Tahari. I'm wearing the same Forever 21 tights under the pants. And then this trench is from Banana Republic, but I thrifted it. So again, we're pulling on the ruffles. The classic shape of that trench and the vintage style of the shoes make it very Blair. This third look is honestly one of my favorites. I'm obsessed with this dress. I found it at the thrift store, but again, we have that mini length, which keeps it young, but it's a sophisticated shape. It has a high, almost boat neck, and I think that is what makes it very Blair, the mix of sophisticated and youthful. My belt is thrifted. I have on the same Forever 21 tights, and I'm wearing some Sam Edelman mules. So, of course, I had to include some of Blair's brighter moments because she does not only stick to black. So, I have this skirt that I got actually at some booth in Animal Kingdom at Disney. I have a top that is from Target. It's very old. And I have some peep-toe pumps from Enzo 
something I can't say the last name <laughs> and then my jacket is thrifted but it is old navy so I know we often see Blair in her pop of color coats I feel like that's another one of her signatures because she does not shy away from color even in the winter um, this is more of a spring because I'm going bare leg but I've totally seen her do something like that I really wish I had a cape because I know she has some cape looks but this just is something that I could totally see her wearing down from the florals the ruffles on the dress and then the floral circleness of the skirt and it's a mini length and she is always in a peep toe I don't know why but this just reminds me of something that I would see her walking down her beautiful staircase in her apartment when she has a surprise visit from Chuck or something I don't know but it's like her casual which is dressier than most of ours but anywho this is a pair of tailored shorts that I got thrifting but the brand is Benetton I have a DKNY silk top on a thrifted belt uh, no tights this time, but my shoes are from Chinese laundry. So again, we're playing on that romantic with the buttons and then we have the conservative shoes and shorts. So this look is my take on one of everyone's favorite looks, which is the Hamptons look that Blair has. So I have this dress that's very similar in shape. Um, so it is a halter neck, a little bit of a low back with a full A-line skirt. I love that. Again, that's something that's totally her because it is a conservative shape, but it also is still fun with the color and pattern and the low back. So um, this is dress is actually from my mom. She gave it to me. I have no idea where she got it from. It's also a belt that I stole from my mom, so it's mine now, but still. <laughs> and then I'm wearing a pair of gray flats that are from Adrian Vittadini, and this is one of my favorites. This is another one that I think is totally inspired by by the playfulness and fun side of Blair's style. So I have this fruit dress that's thrifted. Same belt I wore a little bit earlier that's also thrifted and my shoes are thrifted. <laughs> I added this basket bag because I feel like it's totally something that she would wear again, taking inspiration from all of her summer and Hamptons looks because I feel like Blair's style is definitely seasonal. But again, that's something that's integral to a classic style which is dressing seasonally. So I love how playful and fun this one is. So this one is another trip to the alternate universe where Blair wears pants. <laughs> so I have these Club Monaco pants, this navy thrifted top, and then my Christian Louboutin round toe heels. Again, I feel like just the shape of these pants is so classic. And then with the ruffles, it adds that femininity that Blair loves. And of course, she has tons of Louboutins. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know which video, or <laughs> please let me know which outfit was your favorite in the comments down below. Um, and yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw, have something to say, or would really just like to keep up with the rest of the fashion videos that I'll be posting here. And until next time, I will see you guys later.